All right, this is Misty Maria, and I am going to explain to you essential skill number three, how to identify the trends of the periodic table for ionization energy, electronegativity, and atomic radius. The first thing that you have to understand is the definition of each of those terms. And if you understand the definition, the trend will make sense. So the definition of electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons. So how well or how much does an atom actually want to get an electron? So if we look at our periodic table and we look at our group 1 elements, the alkali metals, because they're in group 1, they only have one valence electron. So in order to fulfill the octet rule, they have two options. They could lose the one electron or they could gain seven electrons. Well, it's a lot easier to lose the one electron than to gain seven. So the alkali metals are going to want to lose their electrons in order to fulfill the octet rule. So if they want to lose electrons, they probably don't have a very high electronegativity, which is the ability to attract electrons. So over here on the left-hand side of the periodic table, these elements have low electronegativity. As you move across the periodic table, the electronegativity is going to increase. You need to know that fluorine is your most electronegative element. Now, all of the halogens are very electronegative because they're in group 17 and they have seven valence electrons. So in order to fulfill the octet rule, all they need is one more electron and then they will have, be stable, like the noble gases. So it makes sense that the halogens have the highest electronegativity, which is the greatest ability, ability to attract electrons because they just need one more in order to fulfill the octet rule. Now, the noble gases, they don't have any ability to attract electrons because they've already stable. They're happy. They have eight valence electrons. So the trend for electronegativity is that it increases as you move across the periodic table until you get to the noble gases, which do not have the ability to attract electrons. Now, let's talk about what happens as we move down the periodic table. As we move down the periodic table, we get more and more energy levels. So francium has seven energy levels compared to lithium with its two energy levels. Okay? So if we talk about how easy is it to remove an electron that's further away from the nucleus where it's positive, because the reason why the electrons stay here is because these opposites attract, and we compare that electron in the seventh energy level compared to the electron in the second energy level, it's going to be a lot easier to pull this electron away from that positive nucleus than it is for this electron in the second energy level to be pulled away from that positive nucleus. So as we move down the periodic table, your electronegativity is going to decrease because the electrons are getting further and further away from the nucleus, so it's much easier to remove them.